Hashem Hashem Nasve Nastiach. Tonight, actually this morning is Yud Aleph Kistev, Kav Shem Pe Dalet, Avon in the We are learning Torah, Zohar HaKadosh, Bezat Hashem, the support of our learning. All Am Israel should have Hastacha, for the Am Israel should have the Fuash and the Man, Nikhtar Israel should have the Idu in the Shema, and all the singers among Am Israel should find their Ben Zug and Bat Zug. Amen. Especially, uh, uh, we want to have in mind Hastacha of Eliyahu Ben Moshe and his family, Hastacha of David Ben Turan and his family, and uh, Zeb David Ben Leah Hastacha. And Vezat Hashem Lefoa Shalema of Yaakov Zev Ben Nacha and Hesed Ben Shoshana together with all the Cholei Am Israel. And we want to also have in mind for Ilui Nishmat Binyamin Meir Ben Zev David Rachel. Um, he's a soldier that we, we, we dedicated for El Chasot uh, October 10th, yes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, around that time, and his father informed me that unfortunately last Shabbat he was uh, murdered in, in Gaza. Ruach Hashem Ruach Hashem is uh, just it's, uh, it's so saddening. You know, we were davening for his hastacha. I had uh, I had his name in my pocket, and now we have to change that to Idu Nishmat. May Hakadosh Baruch Hu protect all the. Hayalei Israel, and that all the Shivuim should come back home safe. Amazing. Okay, so we continuing our Limud, uh, 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 Limud Torah on Shemirat uh, Shabbat, as Harav Shtangbach, as Shadi says, the importance of Shemirat Shabbat uh, is uh, so much, especially the year that Rosh Hashanah right, is on Shabbat. So, Zohar uh, Kodosh in Parashat, Beshalach, Daf Mem Zain Amud Aleph, which is also brought in Koch the Israel of Parashat Baishtach, the Yom Shishi, talks about the importance of Shabbat and that how much Shabbat is Chaviv, is beloved to Hagodosh Baruch. So it goes on to say, Hashem Ilachem, Lachem, Vatem, Tacharishon, that Hagodosh Baruch Hu is going to wage the wars for you. Uh, it's not you, it's not your weapons, it's not your chokhmah, it's not you that is uh, uh, waging the war. So, explains over here that What we need to do, we need to do our best to secure Kedusha, to holiness. Right? And then Rabbi Abba says, that he comes to explain that uh, obviously, after you do your best, then HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to take over, he's going to wage the wars, he's going to uh, defeat the enemies, and he's going to protect us. Rabbi Abba Patach. So he explains this pasuk in the Yeshaya, Im tashib meshabbat lak lecha. What does that mean? Uh, that Asol chafasnaka b'yom kodshi, as tinanak al Hashem, uh, uh, after we come, we prepare for Shabbat, after we do all the mundane things before Shabbat and Arab Shabbat and everything is prepared, then we get Zohe to what? Right? It's, a, it's comparable to a person who is preparing himself for a war. He needs to prepare everything, and but the war is going to be actually Hashem's part. Hashem is going to make him victorious. So too, if one prepares himself on Erev Shabbat, before Shabbat, then HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to, to, to be with him. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Bachar Bahem Leit Chabel, Leit Tapek Bahem Yotel. And that's such a person who prepares for Shabbat, is going to be chosen that HaKadosh Baruch Hu will, cho uh, will choose him to become one with him. Nikol Shar Amim the Alma. So Zohar HaKadosh teaches. Now this is exceptional. That Am Israel is the only nation that is chosen 
right? To be to become one with Hashem. When we go, when we go, lechimota idhon karib lon lekabe, and because of Hashem, right? Utmost love, He wants us to come close to Him. That's why He has given us Shabbat, right? So another word, another word, we've been, we've been uh, uh, going over this concept, right? That Shabbat is the day that we come to Yichud with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We come to become one with Hashem. It's the day that we actually have this unbelievable opportunity to date with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to become one. And therefore, a person needs to refrain from all the mundane things that he does during the weekdays, right? and he needs to become one with Hashem through the Muda Torah, right? as Pele Yohet said, through Tefillah, through uh, having the Seuda, right? as Zohar HaKadosh says, the Simcha, we just had it tonight, the Simcha that a person has from uh, good food will connect him with Hashem, and this way he will have the ultimate connection to Hashem. Right, the to- ultimate connection of Hashem is not like you say, oh, Shabbat is so boring. Obviously, such a person is not utilizing Shabbat the, way, the best way possible. And there is so much to gain from Shabbat that is unbelievable. You know, with the Habdil, uh, uh, we, we, just, we, we just had the Thanksgiving, right? The Habdil, the Goyim, get together once a year, right? We get together at least 52 times a year, right? And every Shabbat, right? Three to four Seudot, right? Many people go to Beit uh, Knesset to have Seudot Shalashit there. But uh, beside that, so much Yichud uh, that we have with Agadosh Baruch Hu, we had together, we have the happiness. We also have Thanksgiving every day. Every day is the Thanksgiving. Yes, <laughs> Baruch Hashem. Every day, every, every day, Yehudi. A uh, Yehudi is supposed to praise Agadosh Baruch Hu, right? Hundred times, right? With hundred blessings a day, right? As the as the pasuk says, Ma Hashem shu'el me'imach. What Hashem is asking you to do? Atigli ma ella mea. That one should read it. Hundred that Hashem wants you to to bless to 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 say the blessings to thank Him hundred times a day because that much you come to thank it helps you to internalize it it goes in you it makes a difference right where you have done oraita and Hagodosh Baruch who loves us that's why He gives us the Torah. Where you have done Shabbat and Hagodosh Baruch who loves us. That's why he gives us Shabbat, right? As we've been saying, right, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu told Moshe Rabbeinu, I have in my treasure house, right, an unbelievable gift, Matana, that is Meyuchat, and I want to give this to you, to Am Yisrael. And what is that Matana? Shabbat. Shabbat Kodesh. And this day is the very holy day, right? And we see so much. Baruch Hashem, Hashem is helping us to come and, and, and to know the, uh, uh, the exceptional, unbelievable holiness of Shabbat, right? And even those who are not uh, from Shabbat yet, they're coming to know it. You know, the famous story we mentioned last week, is Kedai, uh, to mention it again, from Harab bin Ayyaw Shemueli Shilita, Right, that Harab Ben Ayyoshim Elishibita mentioned that there was this Chiloni Yehudi, this Yehudi that wasn't observant yet, right? And uh, he ran out of gas. Right? And he had to park by the side of the street, right, uh, near to uh, Tel Aviv, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. And uh, nobody stopped to help him. Uh, but uh, uh, but uh, Shomer Shabbat, Shomer Misfot, uh, 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 Yehudi, that uh, was, uh, you know, from, stopped for him and uh, told him, what do you need? He said, I need, f- I need fuel. So he went to the gas station, he brought him fuel, 
at that point he wanted to uh, to pay him back for the fuel and he didn't accept it he said why you want don't want to accept it he said i did it for the mitzvah and this guy was uh, so uh, you know motivated by that act of kindness as he told me look for all my life i uh, I, I hated the uh, the the Dattiim, the, Khare, uh, the, the Haredim, right? And he told him, come, I want to show you something. And he showed him the trunk, correct me if I'm wrong, he showed him a sign. He had a bumper sticker. He had a bumper, st yeah, he had a bumper sticker that, uh, you know, uh, uh, one should uh, hit, uh, he should, uh, like, uh, stomp on the stomp Haredi. On the Haredi, right? And he told him, I'm going to remove this, Right? And they became friendly, they exchanged contact information. So this Yehudi decided to call him, to make care of him, to bring him closer to Torah Misfot. And at that point, one point, he, he approached his Rav to say when is the good time to invite him, right? if I'm not mistaken. And, and they, they checked it out. So uh, Shabbat cannot be Rosh Hashanah, it's too hot for him to come. Uh, two days is very difficult for him. And then it was the uh, other Yom Tovim, you know, again, uh, a few days was very difficult to host such a person. And then it came, Simcha Torah. It came Simcha Torah, that he decided to invite him for Simcha Torah, but there was another obstacle. He also wanted to invite his, uh, his, his family, or maybe he was, he was, was going to go to them. His his, his, he was going to go to his dad house, which was one of the border, border towns, right? And so, so instead of going there, he called the, the parents, you know, okay. come, come over, everyone came over, and they all had Shabbat together, and then unfortunate news that went out, and everyone heard that on that Simcha Torah was the October 7th, that unfortunately 1400 Yehudim, Chedushim, were, uh, you know, were murdered. May Hashem take a event. Amen. So, uh, what saved them was Shabbat, right? Kiesh mera Shabbat and Ishmaeli, right? Mikola. So then the Shakil Shabbat, the Kabel Oraita Kula, and a person who keeps Shabbat is equal to keeping all the Torah, all the Torah, right? Oman de Nati Shabbat keilu Nati Oraita Kula. And one who keeps the Shabbat is as if that he has kept all the Torah. And the Pasuk, say, uh, the Pasuk goes on to say, what is, the, what is the meaning that Shabbat is called Oneg? Is the day of enjoyment. Inuga de Kula, Oneg de Kula. That all of us, uh, we uh, need to enjoy. Now what does the, the Kula mean? Inuga de nafsha ve gufa. A person on Shabbat is supposed to have enjoyment of soul and enjoyment of body. How is that achieved? Right? Soul is tefila, right? is a limuda Torah, right? and food can be contributed to enjoyment of the goof. Horma right? sabzi, gondi, what do you like? Do you like gondi? Hormes Abzi? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to eat the Yain. Yain, I'm going to eat the Yain. I'm going to eat the Yain. Right? So, this is important, right? Zohar HaGadur says, that's why, right? They say, they say, they say, Baba Sari used to fast the whole week, but Shabbat. Right? And Harab, Harab, he refrained from, from having meat, right? He was vegetarian except for fish. Right? Uh, he only had fish, but on Shabbat he had chicken, I believe, no? Yeah, I'm not sure. No. Not sure. No, he didn't eat meat even on Shabbat. Even on Shabbat, so that he was all the Shabbat. Kippur chicken, which is amazing. It's a hard to eat chicken. Everybody Kippur, and then Purim he ate fish. So again, say again. Uh, Harab, Harab, Harab. Harab Kaduri, Allah wa Shalom, had fish the whole, uh, the whole uh, uh, year, Purim, year round, and just Purim he had. Purim he, he didn't eat any meat, and Purim he ate fish. 
and, and, and Purim he, he ate fish. And Erev Yom Kippur and he ate Erev, chicken. Erev Yom Kippur he ate chicken. And Shabbatot? Shabbatot he, he probably ate hummus, I don't know. He was vegetarian. So anyways, the point is on Shabbat one needs to be very much happy. Uh, uh, obviously, our Yitzchak Kadur Rav Shalom was on a different level, but for us, uh, we need to achieve that happiness with the food that uh, is beloved by us. So in Uga Lula, now Zohar Agadosh concludes here, in Uga the Ila'in Vetata'in, that one is supposed to have owning of, uh, of, of getting to Olamot uh, through uh, uh, the achievements of Ruchniot with his Neshama and enjoyment of goof through good food, you know, sleep, right, um, uh, you know, playing a little bit here and there, you know, and uh, uh, playing is for kids. Mm. I, uh, I have a sadik here among us, right? right. Is that Hashem in three years by mitzvah, right? Uh, four. four. Four years. Okay. Is that Hashem? Baruch Adonai Leolam. Amen. 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 Amen.